Hi guys, I'd like to welcome you guys all back to Reads with Melanin. I'm your girl Brittany and today we are talking about 10 books that I pre-ordered in 2022. Let me just preface this with no, these are not my top books. These are not my, oh my god, I must have them. Some of these authors are just auto buys for me. Um, some of these stories, I read the first book and I'm obsessed. This is not my full list of books, new books that I want to read in 2022. These are just some of the books that I've already pre-ordered or they're on my birthday list um, of books and stuff that I want for my birthday. So I'm sharing them with you guys. The first one is Akata Woman by Dr. Nettie Okorafor. This book is the third book in the Akata series. I didn't know that there was going to be a third book. Um, and it's funny because I think about when I read Akata Warrior, I said in the video that I didn't know where the story was going. Um, and then here we go with Akata Woman. So obviously that is a pre-order. So excited to get this book. <laughs> it comes out in January. Um, I'll put the date there if I remember. So this book comes out January 25th and I know y'all already know which one it is. It is Goliath by Tochi Onyabuchi. Um, this book, it says, in the 2050s, Earth has begun to empty. Those with means and the privilege have departed the great cities of the U.S., for the more comfortable confines of space colonies. Those left behind salvage what they can from the collapsing infrastructure. As they eke out in existence, their neighborhoods are being cannibalized. Brick by brick, their houses are sent to colonies that was once a home, now a quaint reminder for the colonists of the world that they wrecked. A primal biblical epic flung into the future, Goliath weaves together disparate narratives, a space dwelling looking at New Haven, kinetic, or a, mm, Des disparate narratives a space dweller looking at new haven connecticut as a chance to reconnect with his spiraling lover a group of laborers attempting to renew the promises of earth's crumbling cities a journalist attempting to capture the violence of the streets a marshal trying to solve a kidnapping into a richly urgent mosaic about race class gentrification and who is allowed to be the hero of any history if you're new to this, if you're new to me, I am a Tochi stand. That is all. The next book that I've already pre-ordered is Amari and the Great Game by B.B. Austin. This is the sequel to Amari and the Knight Brothers. It was, if I had done a top reads of 2021, this actually would have been the number one book. Um, this book was such a beautiful surprise for me. I think I will say this over and over again. I have talked so many people into reading this book. I've bought this book for so many people's children. Um, I loved it. Um, I thought it was so well made. I love Omari and I just wanted to see more. So I obviously already put that on lock. Another book that I'm very interested in is Okoye. It's called Okoye to the People. It is by E.B. Zoboy and illustrated by Noah Din Dinman. And it comes out in March. So in this one, it says, Okoye is a new recruit for T'Chaka's Royal Guard. T'Challa's dad, if y'all aren't aware. Um, the Dora Milaje. Known for their loyalty and warrior abilities, the Dora are respected and revered in Okoye's home country of Wakanda. But when Okoye is sent on her very first mission to America, she'll learn that her status as a Dora means nothing to New Yorkers and her expectations for the world outside of her own quickly fall apart. Chosen to accompany King K King T'Chaka on a humanitarian mission, Okoye finds herself trying to help teens dealing with addiction and gentrification in a forgotten neighborhood in Brooklyn. Caught between her duty to her country and listening to her own heart, Okoye must find her own way and determine the type of Dora Milaje and woman she wants to be. So yeah, I've basically been slowly collecting all of the new Black Panther stories that have been coming out um, because they are written by authors that I'm very aware of. So, um, I will be collecting these other books. There's a whole other list of them that I don't think I have. I know that I want the Miles Morales one by Jason Reynolds, but I do need to get that. We're, we're, we're expanding my Marvel collection this year as well. Um, we're diving back into my comic book love affair. Um, as I, you'll see, you'll see your girl got plans. Also, did you know that the Bookish Realm and Locked Booktician have a comic book book club? Just go check that out. You're welcome. Another book that is on my book list is Blood Skion. 
Editor Brittany here. Seriously, it's Seon. I don't know why I was saying Skion. I read. I swear I read. Don't judge me, y'all. Just forgive me. Clearly, I was having a moment. By Deborah Filet. Um, This one is about a girl who can incinerate an enemy at will. Um, she joins like a war to basically dismantle them, but she can't show them her secret because, you know, it's obviously illegal. Um, one, I was pretty obsessed because of the cover. And then I read the premise of the story and it sounds like somebody might be getting their guts burned out and I'm totally down for the violence. <laughs> That's just real for me. Um, this book is young adult fantasy. Yeah, it's young adult high fantasy. So we'll see. But I don't know yet. I just hope that it doesn't let me down. I hope that it's not like a pretty cover and boring inside. I hope that's not what happens with this book because we've had a couple of those. The next one is The Merciless Ones by Namina Forna. This is the second book in The Gilded Ones. And I read this book during the freeze last year as well. And I was thoroughly entertained. This book went nothing like I was like I expected it to go. I thought um, because it starts off saying that, you know, she has golden blood instead of red blood and, you know, persecution. And I was thinking, holy crap, we're about to go there. Now, there are some situations in the Gilded Ones that I was like, but I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed where they went with it. I am super intrigued. I I do plan on doing a reread, but I might do it via audiobook this year um, just to remind myself of everything that happened so that I'm ready for the, the, the shenanigans of the second book. But this one is on my list. My sister actually got me this pre-order for, for Christmas and it is Blood Like, Blood like Fate by LaSalle Samsbury. Um, I plan on starting that series this year. I kind of do this thing now where before I used to like jump, like I might buy the book when it comes out, but I need to make sure that I know when the sequel is coming out before I can read it. Am I the only one like that? Um, it's like, especially if it's getting a lot of like hype, and people are talking about how much they love it. My soul and spirit is like, I can't. The same way that I'm finally going to read Black Sun this year uh, because the sequel is coming out. Because everybody that read Black Sun, if you saw like their tweet or if they posted it on Instagram, it was all the things of, I can't believe I have to wait a whole year to get the second book. And so my spirit was like, you can buy the book, but you ain't reading it until the sequel comes out. Boom. <laughs> The next book is the third and final book in the Kingdom of Souls series, Master of Souls by Rena Barron. Not only have I enjoyed this series, but I've also loved the covers. And thank you, whoever, um, for making sure that A, the covers did not change, and B, the sizing of the books did not change. Because the amount of times we've gotten books where the cover no longer, like the covers don't match, they're different sizes. I'm looking at you, good luck girls. Um, I hate that crap, so thank you for making this a continuity. So when I put it next to my shelves, it looks good. Like the first one was yellow, the second one is red, and the third one is green. So I'm very much looking forward to the third and final book. I don't know what the heck is gonna happen. The second book was so much stuff um, that I just kind of sat there with my mouth open for a good point. So we'll see. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I have some predictions, but my predictions would be spoilers if you've never picked up the Kingdom of Souls series. And if you haven't, my question is why? The next book is The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim. This is, a, this, this is the second book in the Six Crimson Crane series. Like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed this story. This, this one really was a happy place for me. And so the premise now is that she goes, she has to go to the dragon worlds and there's like a dragon prince and like all this other stuff and I can't say anymore because the rest of it is spoilers <sighs> but yeah I really like the series so I was like I just need the second one already like give it to me now thanks and the next and last one is Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion this is the second book in the Legendborn series which was another top read of last year uh, got all the hypes, got all the funks, and, and I just can't freaking wait. What I want to say is a massive spoiler if you've never read Legendborn, but if you have read Legendborn, tell me you're not ready to see this new interaction now that we know some things. Now that we know who Brie is, tell me you're not interested to see how this story is going to spin. And I'm hoping for some more 
I'm hoping for a more a direction that goes into the blackity black. If you've read the book, you know what I'm talking about. But without it, yeah. So those are some of the books that I pre-ordered or are on my birthday list for 2022. My question to you all is, what books are you super, what books were a must buy for you for 2022? What books did you absolutely need without even a second thought? Or who are your auto buy authors? Leave that down below in the comments section. Don't forget, to, don't forget to hit that like button. If you have not subscribed and you like hearing me talk, please hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, guys, bye.